So it turns out that the ice poles that I've been eating are not sugar free. So I thought they were sugar free. I googled it. That's why you should always question Google. So I googled it and it said that they had zero grams of carbs, zero sugars, sugar free, 14 calories per ice pole, which it does have 14 calories per ice pole. So I was just eating them more and more. So the ice pole addiction has gotten to the stage where I'm having about 20 ice poles a day, not even lying, thinking, oh, it's just, you know, frozen juice. It's just frozen 14 calories, nothing else. But I keep testing my weight. So I've been weighing Tuesday to Tuesday, past a couple of weeks. But during the week I've been like, right, I'm just gonna step on the scale, see if anything's happening, because I've been really making such an effort, eating lots of salads, all that kind of stuff. But my weight is creeping up all the time. So I'm like, well, how can that be? So I went and got the box, because I was I had a, quite a few boxes ready to go out to the, the bin, and I had the boxes for the ice poles. So I checked it, and it's 6.9 carbs, of which 6.9 are sugars per 100 millilitres. Now, one ice pole is 45 millilitres. So I've just used my calculator to do the math because I'm terrible at math. I've just used the calculator and it works out, say 20 ice poles, probably even more than that, but say 20 ice poles a day, works out at about nine, so that's like 900 millilitres, which works out at about 62 point something grams of carbs, of which are sugars per day. So that probably explains the weight gain and it probably explains also why I'm in so much pain lately. Right? I've been getting all the pain in my hands and my back and even my jaw. I mean, because I do have dermatomyositis, but, which is an inflammatory di disease, but obviously having all the sugar, sugar is an inflammatory, so this has probably not been helping. So I am going to, as much as it will kill me, once the ice poles are done in the freezer, because I ain't binning them, they're just, you know, I'm not binning my ice poles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the ice poles, knowing that it's going to give me the weight gain, I know that. But once they're done, I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> but what I used to do is I used to blitz up in my Nutribullet. I used to blitz up lots of ice with like a diet iron brew. So I know that that will have zero sugar and that will give me my ice again. Because I don't know why I need the ice. I don't know if it is an anemic thing, but it's something that definitely perks me up, wakes me up a bit. But maybe when the colder weather comes in, maybe I won't want it as much. But that's going to have to be the option. Plus, because you have to blitz it up and then you have to wash the neutral bullet and stuff, it might stop me eating as much of it. But that was a shock this morning to discover that actually the ice poles have lots of sugar. Hopefully that is the reason for the weight gain. I'm also cutting out cereal in the mornings because I was having like a bucket of cereal. Can't just do it in small. So hopefully that will help with the weight loss. Fingers crossed. <laughs>